are you guys really going without me? Imagine how she smells. Don't mind her. Even you, you should know that you cannot approach the king that way. My dear friend, don't be troubled. Hmm? Probably next time, she would go with us. Are you guys ready? I'm going to... You can't approach the king that way. Something entirely different. The king sent for you. The king? Yes. He has called me to send for you. No, I can't come home. I'm dirty, I'm guilty, I'm tattered. I can't come. He still wants you like that. Just come. Come. Mary, just come. Come.
Sometimes, we think we are too dirty and filthy to approach and embrace God. Meanwhile, God is calling us to come, just as we are. If we run away because of our filth and guilt, well then, who would clean and redeem us? The Bible speaking in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 says, Come now and let us reason together, say the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Also in the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 29, And Levi made him a great feast in his own house. And there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with them. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do ye eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Now listen to this. Jesus said, I came not to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. Emmanuel is also calling you. Come, come, come just as you are. The king wants to dine with you. Yes, even you. He still wants you. I know you might have been in the faith before, but something took you away. I know you might have been a very fervent Christian, but sin tried to snatch you away from God. I'm glad to tell you this. God still wants you. Just return to Him and watch how warm His embrace will be. Just come. Just come. Right where you are, I just want you to begin to talk to God. Thank you for loving me just as I am. Thank you for choosing me even before the world began. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 says, According as He hath chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. Say thank you for loving me, Jesus. Pour out your heart to Him. Thank you for loving me, Jesus. Thank you for wanting me. Thank you for choosing me. Yes, I know I don't want it, but this grace has found me. Oh, amazing grace. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you are willing to give your life to Christ and enjoy this warm embrace, kindly just say this after me. Lord Jesus, I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. I know and acknowledge the fact that you came down from heaven to die for my sins and that you even rose on the third day. I accept this new life, your life, the life of Christ. Thank you for saving me, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. I encourage you not to give up. I encourage you not to give up. Not at all. Keep pushing in faith. God still loves you. NCCF Baeza State also loves you.